Hey guys, Sam here from Top 10 Training and in this video we're going to look at how Andy Murray beat Milos Raonic in the 2016 Wimbledon final. Now there are a few key stats that show how Murray was able to win that final. Now on the first serve, Murray is winning 87% of his points. Now if we compare that to Milos, he's only winning 67% of the points on his first serve. Now Milos's game is based around that big serve and that first strike. So for him to only be winning 67% of the points shows you how well Murray actually returned and kept himself in the point on that first shot. Now the next stat is on the second serve. Andy Murray is winning 56% of the points on his second serve and Milos Raonic is winning 71% of the points on his second. So Milos is actually winning more points on his second serve as opposed to his first serve, 4% more. Now this will be something that Milos takes a look at, why he was able to win more points on the second as opposed to the first serve. Now the next important stat is the return of serve points one. So Murray is winning 32% and Milos Raonic is winning 23%. Now another key stat from the returns is that Murray was able to make 74% of all returns in the match. Now this is a huge stat and this shows you how good a returner Murray is. Just the fact that he was able to get so many returns in the court put a lot more pressure on Milos on the first strike after that serve. So this is something that Milos was not having to deal with throughout the rest of the tournament. Most players he was playing, he was winning a couple of free points every service game just with his first serve or even his second serve. Now one of the reasons why Murray is such a good returner is because of his short compact swings when he is playing a big server such as a Ranich or an Isna. A common mistake that I see a lot of players doing is when they're facing a bigger serve they still have quite a big backswing. You don't have time for this and this is what Murray done so well. He took very little backswing on the return of serve, he just blocked the ball back in and this is what kept him in those return games over and over again throughout the match. Now when coming into net, Milos was winning 62% of all points. Now this shows you another key strategy from the match from Murray's side and that was that Murray was able to pass Milos quite a lot at the net with a 1-2 strike combination. So instead of going for the passing shot of that first shot where Milos is approaching him, Andy Murray would set it up with the cross court pass, putting it into Milos' feet which then Milos has to volley up for and then Murray can strike on that next shot. This is called a 1-2 passing shot combo and this is something that Murray used perfectly throughout the entire match. Now Andy was able to win 77% of points when he came to net. So he was selecting when to come in at the right time and he was also being a bit more aggressive with his approach shots. Now the difference was when Milos was coming in he was using that slice a lot to try to keep the ball low. But because Murray is such a good counter puncher he knows how to deal with that kind of approach shot. Now when Andy was coming in he was picking the right time to come in and he was being more aggressive off that approach shot. Now throughout the grass court season, since Lendo has come back, we see Murray spending a lot more time in this circle, around the baseline area, controlling play with that first strike after the serve. Now in years past, we've seen Murray spending a lot of time back here, defending and trying to neutralize players. This is the difference that Lendo has brought to the table the past couple of weeks. Now another thing that we've noticed over the past couple of weeks since Lendl has rejoined Murray's coaching team 
is that Murray has been a lot more positive. Now this is throughout the match, even when times are getting hard in the match, Murray isn't going down and getting negative like we've seen him in the past. He's trying to stay upbeat, he's trying to stay positive, and this is something that Lendl has brought to that table yet again. Now another crucial step from the match was the unforced error count. Now Milos's game is a lot more power based and he goes for his shots a lot more than Murray but it's still important to find the right balance between going for the winners and then how many unforced errors compared to winners. So Milos made 29 unforced errors throughout the match whereas Murray only made 12. Now to make only 12 unforced errors throughout the entire match is something really special. Now this shows you how focused Murray was on making enough balls to let Milos make the error. So thanks for watching the video guys. Leave a comment down below also. Do you think Murray would have won the whole tournament had Federer made it to the final? Or if Djokovic was still in, do you think Murray would still be able to win this tournament? Leave a comment down below and see you soon guys. All the best. Last summer we teamed up with Top 10 ATP Pro David Ferrer and we filmed a course to help you defeat any type of opponent. Now this is a tactics course and a course where David reveals all his secrets to winning against any type of opponent and in different conditions that you may encounter on a tennis court. Now David has been a top 10 player for the past 10 years and this is the first time that a top 10 player is willing to share his secrets with the world. Now this is a unique opportunity for you guys to learn the secret tactics that have helped David defeat players such as Wawrinka, Djokovic, Nadal and Murray among many others. These are tactics that he's used on a daily basis and these are tactics that you can use yourself. No matter what your level, no matter who you're playing, no matter your standard, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced player, these tactics are universal and you encounter these kind of opponents on every level and these tactics are going to help you defeat them. Now to watch the first video, all you have to do, click on this box right here and if you're using a mobile device, click the link under the video. That will take you to a page, you enter your email and we'll send you video number one right away. Now guys, this is a free video course so you can have a look at it right now, don't delay, click this button. This course is only open for five days and last summer all the spaces were full within three days. So don't delay, click this box right here and mobile users click the link under the video. See you at video number one.